Hello my fellow dropshippers, in today's video I want to show you how to operate Facebook shops. This video is dedicated for people who decided to start dropshipping on Facebook shops like me. If you haven't started yet, uh, I highly recommend it. I switched to Facebook shops and this is the only platform I'm dropshipping right now. I used to dropship on my regular Facebook account, but I just got too many issues, low views, no views, I got banned. So um, I decided to start and see what will work for me. And so far, Facebook Shop, it seems like a great solution. There's also one big benefit. Facebook Shops has 0% fees until June of next year, I believe. So if you want to make some extra money, Facebook Shop is the thing. Now, the thing with Facebook Shop is that they're kind of hard to establish. It's kind of a long process to get approved by Facebook. So make sure to check out my other videos about Facebook Shops. I actually created a playlist dedicated just to Facebook Shops, how to set it up, what to do to get approved, all the other steps. So uh, I'm going to leave the link to this playlist uh, right here, somewhere over here. You can, you can click on it and watch it. But in today's video, I want to show you once you set it up, once you get approved and all of that, how to maneuver over Facebook Shops because Facebook Shops are slightly different based Facebook Marketplace. There are slightly different tabs. There's a little different way of adding items and looking at the data. So I'm going to show you these things and hopefully this will help you. So this is one of the Facebook shops I own. Okay. And the thing with this Facebook shop is this used to be a Facebook page, Facebook business page that I transformed into a Facebook shop. Now to access the, the commerce platform, this, which is basically like the backend of Facebook shop. This is the place where you fill full orders, see your items, etc. You're going to go to your Facebook page or your Facebook shop, Facebook page and Facebook shop. I'm going to use these terms interchangeably because it's basically the same thing. You're going to go to your Facebook shop and then go ahead and click on manage shop. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click and then we're going to go and click on go to commerce account. And this is the main platform of Facebook shop. If you are dropshipping on eBay, this is kind of similar to eBay. When I started using Facebook shop, it definitely gave me that eBay vibe. This is the main dashboard. This is the main overview right here. It gives you the messages. So as you can see, pay no ceiling fee through June 30 of 2022. So again, another reason to jump in on Facebook shops, Facebook shop fix my no, no view issues, Facebook shop fix my issue with uh, <laughs> selling fees because I don't pay any, any fees right now. Facebook shops are great and they allow you to sell on Facebook marketplace as well. What I think it's happening, Facebook is kind of favoring Facebook shops and that's why Facebook shops are getting a little bit more views, but I don't know hundred percent. It's hard to say, but me personally, I get better results from Facebook shop. So if you want to get, add an item to your platform, right? You're going to go right here where it says catalog and you're going to click on items this is where you can add items to your facebook shop and right here i have one item on my facebook shop it's like a skateboard or something i already added this item before so it's just showing my inventory if you want to see or edit the item that you've already added just click on it and it will open up and right here you can you can delete it you can archive it archive it means that you can bring it back whenever um, like you're done and you just want to have the, that item back again on your on your shop. Uh, this is where you can manage the pictures. Here is showing you what type of uh, channels this is advertised to. So as you can see, it's advertised on Facebook Marketplace and shops and it's telling you that you can create ads. And the last tab has to do with variant, which I only have one for this example. OK. So uh, if you want to edit it, you're just going to go back to the detail page and then click on edit item. And right here, you can edit the title. This is where you can edit the description, uh, website link. So if you have a Shopify website, for example, or other website on WordPress or WooCommerce, whatever, you can connect it together and then you can advertise it. But again, this is optional, so I don't have a website for this specific item, so I just left it facebook.com. Uh, this is where you set up the price. 
The thing with the pricing on Facebook shops is that you can add cents, which you cannot do on regular Facebook Marketplace account, which is kind of cool because you can make those like 99 um you know sense uh pricing uh and then you can also add something called sales price so sales price is basically showing uh an item that looks like it's on sale so for example i listed this item for 54 but i did have no intention of selling this item for 54. the actual intention that i have is selling it for 49.99 so when someone click on my item on Facebook Marketplace, they will see that, oh, this item used to cost 54 and I now cost 49.99. I guess it's on sale. So that's one way that you can kind of bring people to your uh, items and make them buy because they think it's on sale. Uh, condition, brand. And if I go to next, it will show me the display options. So I can decide if I want to show uh, how many items I have in stock. So I do show that, I show that I have 10, but you can turn it off if you want. So again, this is something that you don't have on Facebook Marketplace, but you do have on Facebook Shop, for example. If it's active, it means that uh, people can find it. You can turn it off and that way it will become inactive and people will not be able to find this item. Product launch, don't really worry about it. It's mostly for like brands, so I'll just ignore this section. Uh, so I'm not gonna really explain it because we're not really gonna use it. Okay, shipping options. So the thing with Facebook Marketplace is that you have to ship it within three business days, right? The thing with Facebook Shop is that you set up your own rules. You set up what is your handling time, how many days you have for shipping. You can set up your own rules and that way you can, you know, let's say, uh, say that you will ship within three to seven days instead of within three business days. So they, this gives you more opportunity to upload tracking number from a supplier, which is kind of cool. Again, you cannot do this on regular Facebook Marketplace account. So that's something that you should keep in mind as well. Another point for Facebook shops. All right. So let's assume you know, I want to add an item. OK, let's assume I, I found an item and I want to add it to my Facebook shop. OK. So to add an item, you're going to click right here where it says add items and it gives you option to add multiple items. And if you click on it, there's a few ways. Manual is basically uploading um, your list of items. Data feed, that's like a, if you have an Excel spreadsheet, like CSV file, for example, and you want to upload it. That it's really cool if you have a lot of items in bulk and if you, if you keep everything in like a clean database. If you don't, don't really worry about it because you can just add them manually. And Pixel, that's something good for people that have like Shopify websites. I don't really want to go too much into it because it's just too much and I'm not that familiar with it itself. So I'm just going to do it a simplest way, which is I'm actually going to go back and instead of clicking on add multiple items, I'm going to click on add one item because I just want to add one, one item and most of you will do the same thing. And this is the, the way you do it. So title, this is where you put the title of the item, description, this is where you put description, website link. Again, I explained this earlier, it's optional, you don't have to do it. Uh, the, the pricing, remember, I, I showed you that earlier. Uh, you can mark it as an item on sale, so you can put 49 remember and then I, I put here 54 that's how my skateboard was costing uh condition new brand you can put the name of the item so uh skateboard for example right content id i left this blank so i'm not gonna fill it out that's how i did it the first time uh, category uh so I'm going to type in skateboard and let's add my skateboard. So here's a skateboard I found and I'm going to add it right now to my Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to put the title. Let's go down to the description. I'm just going to copy this. All right. Boom. Pictures. So you have to download the pictures from your supplier on your, um, on your, on your laptop or your computer. What I do, I take screenshots. I'm going to screenshot these images and I'm going to upload them. So let me take a minute and uh, to take the screenshots really quick. 
Oh, I forgot to explain why I'm taking screenshots. Well, it's because uh, when you take a screenshot, you don't save a metadata of this image. If you do right click and download, that way the Facebook can track where you get this item. So for example, I just got this item from Walmart. But if you do um, sc um, screenshots, you, the Facebook doesn't track you. So to add an image, you're gonna click right here with this choose files and you're just gonna upload them from your desktop or your computer. So the thing with Facebook shop is that the main image has to be uploaded separately than the, the other one. So I just uploaded the first one and now right here it says additional images. So now I will be able to add more. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I added my images. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not that bad. You'll get used to just be over it and move on. Okay. So let's go and click next. So right here is asking me about those other features that I showed you earlier. So quantity, I'm just going to put 10. I'm going to keep it as active and that I want to show that it's in stock. Okay. Next. Uh, so here's, I pick my shipping uh, policy. So I'm using my standard shipping option that I set up earlier. And uh, product stacks category, you don't really have to worry about this because Facebook will, that if you leave it blank, Facebook will be determined it itself. It's basically for them so they know how much uh, sales tax they need to collect. I'm gonna, just gonna leave it blank and Facebook will later figure this out, okay? Next, and I don't really have any variants, so I'm gonna click finish. So my skateboard was just added to my inventory, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily on my Facebook shop yet. See, the thing with Facebook shop is that Facebook, I guess it, they need to approve your listing. And sometimes it takes some time. It might take a few hours. Sometimes it even takes a day. So your Facebook shop item might not be online uh, right away. You just have to be patient. Okay, so I went back to the main menu. Now, if you want to um, see like the insights, how your items are performing, if they are getting views and you know where the views are coming from, you can do it by clicking here where it says insights and then click on overview. OK, so right here is showing me the overview of my whole Facebook shop, not just not just uh, like particular item, but like how my shop is doing in general. And if I scroll down right here, I can see my items and it tells you products they, that your uh, customers engage with. So uh, even breaks down who is looking at your items. So men, women, it's kind of cool. It gives you a lot of data. If you have a Facebook pixel attached to your shop, there is even more data, but that's more complicated stuff. I don't want to really want to go over Facebook pixel right here in this video. But to track particular items, uh, click right here with this catalog and it will show you the list of your items. That skateboard that I just uploaded, it's not there yet. That's why it's only showing this one. Uh, the, the other one that I had uh, uploaded previously. So if you wanna see their performance, just click on it. And right here is telling you how many views it gets, if you get any sales. Uh, how many units sold, how many items get been added to cart. This is cool because it tells you that add to cart means like someone was starting the process of um, uh, purchasing your item, but then they, they were like, ah, maybe let me buy it together. Or maybe they get distracted. The thing is, if you have a Facebook pixel installed, you can retarget these people with the ads. But again, that's like more complicated stuff. I don't want to get over this in this video. In today's video, we're going only uh, through basics, okay? Right here on the top, you can switch the dates you want to see the reports on. So uh, right now it's actually the 19th. So if I want to see today's data, I will need to switch from 18 to 19 and click update. And today this skateboard didn't get any views. And I only have this one skateboard on this uh, Facebook marketplace account, on this Facebook shop account. So today this skateboard didn't get any views. So it's not doing really, really great to be honest with you. All right, if you get an order, you will go to this tab where it says orders and you will see the list right here. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty uh, the same stuff that you do on regular Facebook marketplace. You will just need to add a tracking number. So you will click it uh, that you want to add a tracking number and send it and everything else is kind of automatic and you don't have to really worry about it.
right here payouts so this is where it will show you you know the payouts whenever your money is coming in you can set it up either to get payouts on your paypal or a bank account i have set it up to send it to my bank account and uh you can create reports which is also cool for like accounting purposes really really cool stuff this is definitely more advanced than like regular facebook account because this platform it's it's just meant for e-commerce. Facebook Marketplace is more for like people selling locally and stuff like that. So this is meant for like big fish, big players. And I really like it. This is the true e-commerce of Facebook uh, because this, this dashboard looks like Amazon or an eBay dashboard and it's really cool. And remember right here on the top, it tells you again that you are not paying any fees on listings for the next year. So this is a great time to jump in on facebook shops because you will get better results you will get higher profit margins check out the playlist that i created with dedicated to facebook shops how to set it up how to get approved all of that join our facebook group check out the affiliate links for zik analytics the product research tool and AutoDS, the facebook marketplace and ebay uh, ebay uh, drop shipping automation tool and also check out that drop shipping course that i'm promoting but other than that i will see you on the next video take care